everything else the same. You could do thumb, but for me, it mutes out the high E, so. Pretty, man. And then from the A string down, three, three, two, one, zero. I'm gonna strum those. And then our page eight, open G, one E. Um, open E, open G, one E, open G. Open E, one B. And that's kind of a hold that the notes ring into each other. Uh, G suspended, three, up top, mute, open, open one. And then G major, played a way that you may not have played it. Three E, mute, open, open, open three. Two strums, so it's. And then an A major. Once again. 309. Back to distortion. Four A, slide to nine. And then you'll have section six, repeat, no star on that. So you need your tabs, that'll make sense for you. Solo at 315. It's a cool solo. It's not not um, nowhere near as long as the last one I did for you. 12G, we're gonna bend a whole step. Use third finger, back it with two is the best way, I think. And then 12, 10, 12, bend. Three twenty one. 12 on the high E, same thing, but we're gonna release it. We're gonna hold, release, pull off to 10. And then 12, high E, bend vibrato, so. Now bending on a whole step, I haven't heard you play, Jake, so I don't know if that's something you struggle with. I know from the, as many years as I've been teaching, that is something that people struggle with, just like pinch harmonics. So, um, you know, that's why I like to support with backing fingers. Get it up to the note, use your wrist. To uh, and just like be pushing into that string, it's gonna want to go. You know, if you're not used to them. Okay, twelve ten on the high E. Actually, no vibrato. Twelve ten nine hammer ten pull nine. Twelve B step and a half bend. Bending a B to a D. So we have. And then bring it down. You're gonna hold it. 10, hammer 12, B. 11, slide to nine on the G, pull to seven. Nine, pull seven. On the D, nine, pull seven. Nine, D. Step and a half, bend, rest, release. Yeah, these step and a halves are, are uh, knocking old faithful out of tune. Okay, so we had, this is a quick thing too that he does, it's kind of hard to hear in the mix. So. Then your step and a half bend, hold, release. 7A, hammer to nine, same thing on the D. And then pick seven, nine. That's at the 329 timestamp. Turn it over to page five. Go to the G, uh, seven, hammer nine. Pick nine, slide to 11. 10, 12, B, bend. My brought up, so it's. Oh, it's supposed to be a whole step. So it's. And 334, he's back to the pentatonic pattern he was using, but uh, he's over on the second fret. Top string, palm mute, and go 2 5, 2 4, 2 4, E, A, and D string. 2 4, G, no palm mute. And then 4 G, third finger, back it with a couple. You're gonna pinch harmonic, bend it. Pinky 5 B, pinch harmonic. If you can get him pinched, eight times of that, he's doing like a.
Okay, 339, back to the F sharp minor pentatonic, palm muted, 1417, 1416, 1416. And this is cool, he moves in chunks of, well, it's a six pattern, that's how it starts out. 14, 17, 14, 16, 14, 16, back up to the A string, and we're gonna do that same concept. 14, 16, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be, I'm an octave low, ain't I? I sure am. 14, 17, and then 14, 16 on the A, D, and G string. This is all palm muted. And then D, G, and B, 14, 16, 14, 16, 14, 17. Release the palm muting when you get to the B string. Do that twice, by the way, on the B. So it's on the high E, go 14, 17, 19, 17, 19, 19, bend. So let me do that whole thing kind of slow for you. This is the 339 timestamp. That's in parentheses on the bend because it's the downbeat, which uh, if you're playing along with this song as a solo guitar, you may want to cut out and not do the bend there and jump into the 344 timestamp, section 2C, two times. Or, um, if you can pick up, you can go and then jump into section 2C on the next chord. You got to get kind of creative doing that. I love doing stuff like that, but um, it's a little tricky. So anyways, great stuff, man. Um, I think you're the first student to have me do a CBT lesson on any Triumph song. I'm pretty sure. So um, when you're ready for some more, let me know. I had a blast doing these for you, man. You took me down memory lane. Rick Emmett. You know, remember in the 80s, all those albums, I couldn't couldn't wait to get him because I knew he was going to put a little classical piece on him, you know, like Randy Rhodes did uh, D, you know, same type of thing with uh, Rick Emmett. Just fabulous. Good stuff. Thanks, dude.